Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we'll have the gameplay review of Destroy All Humans. So Destroy All Humans is an open world action adventure video game franchise that is designed as a parody of Cold World era alien invasion films. So the first part of the game came in 2005. So after 15 years they have released a part 2 of this game. So here we will mostly play as an alien and the role of the alien is to save his world from extinction. So let's start with the game. Hello friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. Tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars. Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? What in the blue blazes is that? One! No, wait! Stop the countdown! Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Okay friends, so that was the intro. So as I was mentioning, 
uh, the primary role of this game is like you will be playing as an alien and you will be invading the earth and try to kill as many as humans and probably try to destroy the earth to save your own ra race Box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! And Crypto! Do okay, so we are at our first mission. So it's both as a it acts as a both as a training and as our first mission. So we'll come to know about the controls and how the game it is and everything. the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little. Our first weapon is the cortex scan, so basically he, he is trying to read the mind of the cows. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. So the basic idea is now to kill the cows by throwing them in the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground! Tell me we's having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That oh. ain't steak. That's holy mother of Martha, give me the shotgun. This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Okay, now we are using the Zapomatic to kill the father. 
Extract and collect the brain stem from what's left of and the And we are extracting the brain of the dead. You can consume the brain stem and collect the furon DNA. Harold, come on back! You gotta see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... I'm not green. Oh, okay, so there yeah, are more no, humans and so <laughs> the idea is to kill them using Zapomatic. We are taking the brains also. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green face, man! What oh, is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old Crypto! That human uh, law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Okay, so we have a jetpack also. I think it allows us to fly for a couple of minutes, I guess. So we have to kill the cops before they go to our spaceship. My radar shows more human Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path. Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting! Destroy all buildings! Leave no trace! Bomb those monkeys back to Okay, the so the weapon in the saucer is the death ray. So we have to basically eliminate or destroy all the buildings. couple of left on the left hand side it shows up in the maps yeah that this one okay here come some reinforcements from the humans Been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them. Now! Open fire! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy. Okay, so we have to quickly finish up these reinforcements so that they don't get to inform other humans. I think they came up with some tank or something. But with death ray, I think we are able to eliminate each one of them. Look out! There are more 
more to the north in the bushes. Replenish your saucer's shields by draining any human vehicle. Let me see where are the rest. Okay, here they are. I think only few of them are left. Okay, here they are. Perfect. Excellent work, Crypto. I guess friends, it was this was the first mission, so the game is really fun. If you see the dialogues, they are really funny. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Okay friends, I'll try to do one more mission today. Let's see what's the next one is. Now then. I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture. Okay friends, so the next mission is to go to Earth and capture someone and bring it back Crypto. to the ship. Okay. So this this mission is sort of a uh, like a stealth mission. We cannot be like identified and police cannot notice us. We have to probably take a uh, 
like shape of another Don't human or something like that and uh, capture someone and bring him back to the ship okay so we have a power of hollow bob and we can take any shape we can shape one take the shape of another human now the jewel sufficiently disguised continue using the cortex scan to maintain the illusion i don't know guys what's going on this cars any idea enemies i'll try to go towards the fair probably have to take another human's shape okay let's try this human i hope lenny knows what he's a doing with that mouth oh give me a home where the buffalo roam most you know what we need is the dumbest weakest willed most malleable human we can find Admittedly the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Okay so once we are in the fair we have to scan each and every human to find the dumbest one and probably take him or her back to the ship for questioning. Yeah, this is what I thought my life would be like. Cows check, farm check, bacon apple pie and cookies. Check that Ike seems like the guy I'd want to have over for a barbecue. He's got I want to be a cowboy. Don't but who would be my cowgirl? Man, oh man. She might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be on to something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Town's doing great. Business is booming. Hope is on the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Yes, yes. Like proteins from the primordial ooze. A pattern is emerging. Let's go in the tent. Let's see if we can find our target. Milty in a dress. Be still, my. Well, oh, I guess there's nothing wrong with animals mixing. Is there anything he can't do? You know, sometimes I. Thought... Gosh, Uncle Stanley sure didn't seem like himself this week. Um, Wayne. Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right, Crypto. I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No, abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself. All I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend okay, friends. So she is our hours. target, and I think I we can hypnotize her, people. and but there's no time. she can follow Here us go. back to the ship. Oops, I think we have left her behind. Whenever some poor woman is wasting the best years of her life on some two-bit dirt farmer, I'll be there. <laughs> Which way's the exit? Enjoy the fair. I would don't ride the mangler. It's gave. a freaking death trap. I think she's living somewhere over the rainbow. Must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn. 
heels. Wait! I left my purse in the tent. Hey, what did I do to you? My mind says Marilyn, but my nightstick says Betty Page. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope. My car seems bigger and rounder and saucer shaped. Whoa! Oops, that was my mistake. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. And lots of wavy hair like Libra. Wait a minute. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh! What's happening? Oh God! Please no! Oh oh! It, it tickles! <laughs> it's probing time. Oh yeah! Right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Crypto, the authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. I think there is a new power abducto beam. I think we can lift objects and throw it far away. But anyways, we have to use our beam to first destroy the fair. Okay. See, I have taken the car and I try to throw it away. There she goes. Uh, looks like we cannot lift big objects, so that is something I think we have to destroy using our beams. But the small objects like car and tank, I guess we can take it through the abducto beam. Let me try to take one more. I'll destroy the small shops first. Try the abducto beam. Okay, I'll throw this tank. There are tanks all around. Was another one. Let me try to take the big tent. That's it friend, that was the second mission. I guess we are good for today. So please do subscribe to my channel, share and like the video that really motivates me to come up with more videos. And I'll come with more gameplay videos of this game. Thank you.